Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We're going to be jumping in again and this time we do have another new character called Golem. But first of all, I want to do just an Eden run. I really want to just like get into some of the vanilla stuff and just get used to him. Get, sorry, get used to him. Get used to Fiend Folio before we jump into a character such as Golem, which I think is a challenge character. I might be wrong about that, but anyways, I'm waiting for a thumbnail for him anyways. So I think an Eden run could be a lot of fun. We'll see what we end up starting out with. Um, we Well, we start out with a planetarium first off. Items, really not so great, but not a terrible start considering planetarium. Oh, hello. Whoa. You are like a, a new version of a pin, and you have Curse of Rebirth on you. Curse of Rebirth. Oh, my God. This guy is bullying the ever-living hell out of me. Holy. Okay. Rebirth. Please stop. There's our key for our planetarium. Good, good. Uh, yeah, for today's question of the day. Ooh, that is a, a rough, very rough reroll right there. But I'm going to go for it. We missed something, but we did get the mime degree. Summons, um, summon blocks in the room that enemies cannot pass through. Touch the block to relocate it. Interesting. Oh, our character looks awesome right now. We got... Some sort of spectral beggar. Saturnus is awesome. What the hell are you? You gave us a wisp. This is really cool looking. I wonder what you can pay out with. Runes, apparently. A Yera rune. Very nice. I will certainly take. Okay, this is good. Also, I got a I got Saturnus Lemmageddon Wisps. Okay, so we got these blocks here. This is pretty good. I I, I bet this is, is going to be really helpful on certain rooms. On some rooms, I bet it's going to be worthless. On other rooms, I bet it's going to be quite good. Having like a little stopping power for some of these enemies here. But yeah, for the question of the day, if I haven't said it already, I cannot remember, honestly. What is your preferred time of day? What sort of person are you? Are you a morning person, afternoon person, night person? Be interesting to know. Don't pick up the Zealot Heart yet. We don't want to lose it. Yeah, it'd be really interesting to know um, where you guys reside on that. I think everyone's a little bit different. And it kind of depends usually on your schedule and, like, what you do for work and stuff. Because I remember, like, when I used to work at a store, I used to be much more of a morning person, but only out of sort of... The fact that I had to be. Whereas now with the job that I work at, like, while I obviously do have to be up for work, it's not a strict time anymore. So I feel like I've got a little bit more lenience and I'm, I don't, I, I'm now much more of a sort of night person. I, I, I tend to stay up later and um, wake up later whenever plausible. Obviously, depending on work, it's not always plausible. Dude, these little cornfly dips need to calm down. Oh my god. Curse of Rebirth on early floors is a little bit brutal. Hello, my little dippy, dippy, dippy. I actually might Yera the um, the Zealot Heart, you know. I think that would be a good call. I don't know what this fly does, by the way. Okay. Okay. He does that. Calm down, little marshmallow boy. Right. Let's take this guy out. Yeah, it, it definitely changes with where you are in life sort of thing. Um, I just remembered that Scissors isn't that good. I used it, and it, it just didn't do what I expected it to do at all. I mean, it's not bad, but, like, I want my head back. It's kind of nice to have the spewing effect. I, I, I reckon this with uh, Shard of Glass could pair quite nicely. Apart from, obviously, Shard of Glass being a pain in the ass, but... It spawns a lot more of these blocking blocks than I thought it would, you know? I do find it funny just having the mime head... There, and that is all. Curse of Rebirth on you, why? We don't really need him in a specific place. Oh, did I just... Okay, so that's pretty funny. So, <laughs> I like that a lot. That's a nice little bit of flair there. I took damage, and instead of making the noise when I got hit, my character, like, put up a card, like a mime. <laughs> Chance to take a random pill and pick up a penny. That sounds awful. Let's do it. Um, and then let's Yera, let's Yera this. It's, it might not be the best of choices because we'll probably lose them pretty fast. But I like the idea behind it. And we can't go down to the downpour yet. I would like to go for a mother run because I bet there's some really cool stuff on Mausoleum. But we're not going to force ourselves to go before we can sort of thing. We do have a lead pencil in the mix now. 
Yeah, so we force enemies around. That's really good. These enemies are completely trapped because of this white block, which I apparently just touched. I'm a bit worried I'm going to accidentally... Oh god, he turned into a spewer. Hello, sir. If you would like to die, that would be very kind. Spiders, if you'd like to come this way, I will show you to your death. But, yeah, I got to say, I do find it quite funny. Oh, these guys started out as very small. I don't know why that is. Why'd you start out small, fellas? What happened to you? Kind of a good trinket, but I'm, I'm sticking with this horrible-sounding pill one. Because I, I hate myself. Some really cool enemies in here, and there's a spider there lurking. <clears throat> oh, God. He fired a shot at me. It's okay, it's okay. I find that, like, <clears throat> one thing I, I, I always see is, like, do you know how, like, there's different people that gatekeep certain things? Like, they'll gatekeep uh, their fandom or whatever. One thing that I see gatekeep, people gatekeep way too often is when people wake up. Like, someone will be like, so, like, I'm not really a person that enjoys getting up too early. I, I did, like I said, when I used to work in a store, I did used to have to wake up at, like, half five in the morning to open the store and stuff, which wasn't my favourite, but it was work. You kind of got to do what you got to do. Ooh, triple shot. I'll take it. Um, you got to do what you got to do. Um, and I remember, like, people, like, I'd say to people about, like, now, I, I, I wake up early for me, and early for me now is, like, seven, like... Sometimes, uh, most times I wake up about 9, so if I wake up at like 7, that's kind of early for me. And I'll say it to someone, they'll be like, that's not early, that's not early, I wake up at 5am every day. And it's like, just, why? <laughs> Let people think the way they want to think. Like, that is early to me. Why do you have to gatekeep what is early for me? <laughs> and it's like, I feel like it's like the most commonly gatekept thing. Oh my god, look at these guys. These spiders freak me out. Okay, we lost our devil deal chance. I love this. The fact that we don't have a hurt sound anymore and it just pops up on our screen. That's a brilliant little touch. That really is. Stuff like that is just what makes items perfect. Like, they could have just had it work as the blocks. Whoa, what the hell? What was with that bomb right there? It had like a little wooden thing on top of it or something. This guy has been changed, by the way. This guy is, is uh, very new. As you can see, he, tele he actually telegraphs his laser attack now. And he dies quickly also. Um, spawn a bunch of scuzzies, an extra ranger. I don't know what scuzzies are. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's what scuzzies are. Jump with me, small fellas. Okay, we're definitely going to go angel deal here. I will try and go alt path, though. I will try and go alt path. Why not? I feel like we have decent enough health. We just got some more lemma getting wisps as well. Um, we got purity, holy light, I think that is. Not 100% sure what anything else is. Oh, God. I would rather not lose my Lemmigittens. Also, I have a damage aura right now, which is very nice. Especially with Saturnus, because it means I can kind of kill stuff instantly. Small rooms like this with these blockers. That's incredible. There's a lot of rooms here, like, like this one, where enemies straight up just can't get to us. I really like that. This is an item. I didn't expect it to be quite that valuable or, like, have the potential to be quite that valuable. It's really got some interesting use cases in certain rooms where it could be really, really good. You are charmed now, fool. You are mine. I really like the way that you can, like, move them around and stuff as well. I guess moving them around stops any soft lock issues, potential, or it just, like, means that you can potentially make them more useful when they're not already. Like, this this guy was just stuck back there. Ain't nothing he could do. Ooh, spawn a trinket gives us one extra trinket slot. I'll take that. Wait, do I not have regret pedestals on? Um, Once a floor, a random enemy will get erased. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. That is pretty darn good. Like, that enemy just got erased right there. Um, PhD would be pretty good here. I'd take PhD. We have our little degree, so why not a PhD as well? I like the way there was a blocker on the exit there. It's like, no, you can't leave the room. What are you on about? You can't go anywhere. 
I don't even think they can shoot over it. Do you see that then? I tried to shoot past it and it just didn't work. Have we also got... Okay, so the other item we have is Explosivo. I didn't notice that. I thought it was Holy Light for some reason. I don't know why I didn't notice that sooner. So Explosivo should make this guy a piece of cake. I mean, Lead Pencil so far has been the king of the show. Beautiful. Piece of piss. Angel deal? No angel deal. We did get a tier rate upgrade. And of course, we'll try and go and get our knife piece here because we we'll want to try and do mother. Which shouldn't be too bad. We don't have too many rooms between us and... We'll take that as well, actually. We don't have too many rooms here between us and the... Uh, sorry, the, the item room and the mirror room. It's like four rooms. No, three rooms, really. Okay, let's go on through. I still love this mirror room idea. Still, after all this time, I still think it's a really, really cool idea. Get some extra consumables from this floor as well. My god, another thing to talk about. I won't spoil anything, but holy, did people see the Better Call Soul finale? My goodness, was that incredible. God damn, that show is, I don't know, I might like it more than Breaking Bad. It was that good. <laughs> and Breaking Bad was one of my favorite shows of all time, and kind of still is. But God diggity damn, it was just like, I feel like Breaking Bad's fantastic, of course, but the depth of the characters that were in Better Call Saul, it just, I don't know, it was just, it was just kind of incredible. Like, I'm so glad that I got to watch that as it came out. I never got to watch Breaking Bad as it aired. Um, I was a little bit behind the curve in that regard. Um, but getting to watch that as it aired was was truly a wonderful experience. I'm so glad I got to watch the finale. I ordered in Cinnabon. Like, in the UK, there's not many places you can get Cinnabon, but luckily my city is one of the places you can. Um, and I ordered in Cinnabon with my girlfriend. We sat in, got ready for the finale, and just had a real good time of it. And it was it was awesome. It was, it was truly, it was really awesome. Okay, this guy is roasted and toasted once again. Did you not die there? Damn. Give us another little item. Hey, marbles is fantastic for us. Uh, none of those um, are, are very good, but being able to gulp up trinkets every now and again is going to be pretty nice. I'm surprised our zealot hearts have lasted as long as they have. They've been kind of carrying us right now. Zealot Hearts are so strong because obviously they give you temporary items, but also they give you the protection of the actual Wisp themselves, so you're, you're less likely to get hit um, yourself. Your Wisps might die, but you you have a lesser chance of dying, so I think that's really nice. I can add a little benefit that they have. It's why Lemmageddon on uh, Tint Bethany is just so powerful. It's why she's such a, such a strong character. I'm glad we managed to get through this whole floor without taking any damage and losing our damage aura. I'm also very happy that we look very suave in our little beret. It's very nice. Let's keep moving down. Um, this is Dross 2, so we do need to double bomb the door. Have we been to Mines yet? I don't think so. I can't remember. But there's bound to be some new things to see regardless. Are you kidding me? Did you just notice what happened there? If you didn't, if you didn't, let me point it out to you. I'll tell you what happened there. I have this trinket that has the chance, the chance, the chance to use a pill on picking up a coin. I picked up a coin, went through the trap door, and it used hematemesis right as I jumped around the, dro the drop door. So now I've got one heart, which is not what I was hoping for, I'll admit. Oh my god, that is that is savage. So now we've lost all of our HP. My oh my. That was that was savage game. Okay, you you are the one that's getting destroyed here. Let's put that down for now. <laughs> That's riskier than I could have imagined. Ooh, what's that guy? Oh, I killed him too fast. I was like, whoa, cool enemy. He's dead. <laughs> that was one thing I really, I was really glad about on my first run. The fair, ooh, look at these little pig dudes. On our very first run that we had for Fiendfolio, I had really low damage for most of the run, which was good because we got to like 
thoroughly see every single enemy available. What is that guy? That is a lot of rocks falling. My, my. You guys... You guys keep getting stuck in there. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm really just looking for HP at this point. Hello. We got missing poster, extension cable, um, and fragmented card. We're supposed to get four. I don't know why we only got three that time. Maybe it got nerfed a little bit. Still, it's pretty good stuff. Right. Have to explore some extra rooms here. Whoa, what is this call boy? He splits into more. I can't see anything. I'm getting like stat increments when I kill things. I'm not sure what that's from. Oh, I guess I have. Um, I think I think I get. Uh, gu I've got gusty blood at the minute. I guess that's what it is, from my lemma getting wisps. Look at my poor health. Huzzah! Oh, I'm not doing too bad now. Right, do we have any new bosses on this floor? This is just Gideon. But he is champion Gideon, though. He is champion Gideon. Don't get hit by this. We should be careful standing in the middle here. But we kind of need to for a sec. What's he doing? Brimstone. With shots coming from outside it. Nice. That's pretty cool. He's going to do the fire breath down the middle in a sec as well. We're going to be ready for that. There it is. Oh, some new enemies on this wave here. I, for some reason, wasn't expecting new enemies on the Gideon waves, but... God damn, they're cool. No, I took damage. I lost one of my Lemmageddon Wisps. I don't even know what hit me. Oh, it was one of these dudes. I think they jump on you. Last wave, my boy. Okay, good. You're all dead. Roasted and toasted. Wailing Leech for a bit of extra HP here is kind of nice. And then try Sergion. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Why not? I berets turned black. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my. Okay, we did lose one of our Lemmageddon Wisps, which is a bit sad. But otherwise, things are going well. I hear noises. I heard some, some ghostly sounds. Try Sergion here. Not doing great. Oh, hearts. Thank you. Also, the amount of money we're getting from these, from that trinket, is insane. That trinket's really good. I kind of want to do the mother chase here, just to see what's new with it. <coughs> if anything. It might not it might not be new at all, I don't know. I like the way that the uh, leeches that we have uh, got zippy zaps around them. Oh, hello. Minecarts are getting deleted. That's a really good trinket, too. Like, with Fiend Folio, it's a lot less worthwhile. Because obviously you don't really see the same enemy twice that often. We got hit. No! A character did a, a big oof. Look at the amount of shots we attach to enemies. Oh god, don't know what's going on with this guy. He's shooting at me though, I can see that. Look at them all. Grab that real quick. Having triple shot on this is pretty good too. Hey! For one, I'm confused because I can seem to walk over this gap for some reason. Which shouldn't be plausible. Okay, that's why, I see. Interesting little room there. Oh, you're not dead. Okay. That scared me for a minute there. Shop or shop? What do you have for me? I don't have any keys that are available for that yet, so... Let's not bother going in there so far. Whoa, look at that guy. What on earth is he doing? 
these enemies are really cool. We, we've also finally lost all, all our Lemmergate and Wisps now. Lodestone would be fantastic with this setup. So hell yes, please. Yeah, I gotta put Regret Pedestals back on after this. I don't know why that's not on. I love that mod. Well, what's this little, like, thing that I'm bopping around over here? It's like a little tumbleweed. You see it? There's, like, two of them. What happens if I walk into it? I, I've got, I, I must find out. I get hurt, apparently. Sacre bleu! <laughs> okay, I'm taking too much damage now. This is stupid. Oh, it's Clutch. Hello. Ow. Sacre bleu! I'm taking so much damage right now. Oh, no. I'll be honest. I couldn't really tell what was happening there throughout most of that. Sacre bleu. <laughs> I love that. Right, let's go do our mother chase. I'm not very confident we're going to live through it, I'll be honest. Well, let's go try it nonetheless. Another one of these guys. Hey, a little bit of extra health just in case. Ooh, secret room as well. I was not expecting that. Don't know what that guy was about, but he didn't seem to want to play around. Any tinted rocks about as well for us, maybe? Just to ease our descent into madness? Doesn't look that way. Right. Let's see if this has anything new to it. It might. You never know. I'm noticing some new block variations, I think. There's something weird happening with the grid. There's like no edges to some of these grid pieces. I don't think that's intended. I right, grab that. <clears throat> it all falls apart. Ah! I don't know why, but I just froze on top of the spikes there. Damn it. Okay, we're one hit off death. That's not good. Also, this room is, as always, ridiculously laggy on modded. I don't know what it is about playing modded that just destroys the frame rate in this room. It just annihilates itself. There's a reason I normally skip this. We might die in here. It would be sad. I'm hoping we don't. I just want to see the mausoleum. Um, exactly what am I meant to do here? I don't know what I'm meant to do there. Am I meant to take a bomb all the way down there? I am. God damn. This game's savage sometimes. The lag makes this so hard. Mother, just do your thing. Get out of here. Scram. Dude, you take so long to charge. Why are you like this? Wow, we made it out, but with one health. Not great. Not great. We'll at least get to see Mausoleum, though. Which I'm happy about. So far, though, mod compatibility-wise and stuff, Fiend Folio, we've had minimal bugs. We've had minimal bugs. We really haven't seen too much problems. Gehenna is going to be, with Cares of Conquest as well, is going to be rough. What on earth are those things? Yeah, especially with just not knowing what basically anything on this floor does. I would say that we're relatively well and truly burned.
Like, I can't even... I can barely hit this guy. Because he's just going to whip the shit out of me. Also, we lost Explosiva, which is very sad. What is this guy doing? He's spawning red flies by the looks of it. What are these fires doing? God, them fires scare me. I don't know what anything does. This is so exciting and so scary at the same time. Oh my god. I'm so like intrigued but scared. Is that another fool's gold rock? If that if they're fool's gold rock, that's cool as hell. I'd never know because this just pushes them out of the way. Dude! Stop! Pushing them. Okay. Fuck it, doesn't matter. There's definitely some floor tiles that are bugging out a little bit. I'm not sure what that's about. Look at this dude, he's so cool. That's probably because I've got the uh, the mod that adds some new floor, floor tiles as well. It probably doesn't vibe very well with Fiend Folio. I don't know though. Might not be. What's this thing? Blizzy. Um, ooh, I probably should have taken that to be honest. Go get some more money from back over here because there's some left. Yeah, it seems to be like one tile gaps it suffers with a little bit. We would have enough money if we could bomb those damn fool's gold rocks, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I'll be honest. That seems like a struggle that I'm not willing to commit to. Up this way and to the left. This this room's called Indecent Exposure. Okay. Okay, game. Just a bit strange. We don't have any of the red key pieces. I'm guessing this guy in the middle will give us some. Ah, for God's sake, I got hit. Jumped right on my head. Thank you for the hearts, my dude. That gave us enough money to do with whatever we want. L little jumper, get out of here. Scram. Scram, kid. I'll take a rotten heart as well, why not? Right, I can buy the item now. Whoa, there's meat sacks hanging around the place. I'll take this. Stem cells, decent. Okay, we're back on track now. We're back on track. So this is going to give us a half-filled cart container and basically a little bit of tech, a little bit of every stat. That's pretty decent, to be honest, for a shop item. It's not. In oh. Did I get hit there? God damn it! Oof. Grab, grab. Boss time, hello. Oh my, the damage that's being outputted right now is kind of crazy. Dad's lost coin, god damn it, not very good. I think the wafer is a pretty much must take at this point. <laughs> What's this little meat hat we've got on? What's this thing? It's beautiful, I'll give you that. It truly is something of... Oh, look at that, dude. It truly is something of beauty. I think it just... Um, it just erases the first enemy we see. That trinket. That we've apparently gulped by now, I didn't realise. We've gulped both of our trinkets. Take care of you. Honestly, Lodestone has been so good for us. <laughs> I love our character looks right now. He looks like such a goober. Such a goober. Stop stealing all the rocks. 
Don't need none of that over here. I, I literally am not even looking at where I'm shooting. I'm just using the Saturnus rings to deal damage. I really am. What is this guy doing? I don't know, but I mean targeted. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Holy. This little dude. Oh, God. He's scary, but he seems to be... Yeah, I guess I pretty passive. But he's scary. I give him that. <laughs> he spooked me. He most certainly spooked me. Right, let's keep moving through. Oh, God. Sacrably. Oh, God. This guy's doing a lot. I lost a good amount of health there. I wish it had raised you fellas. God damn it. Taking so much damage to these things. Give me more health, please. I used my last key here. God damn it. I think I want to do that and then that. Um, I feel like that was unintended. We got the secret stash. On pickup spawns a coin key and a bomb and a card pi uh, pill slash rune. At the start of your next run, spawn 10% of the coins, keys, and bombs you held at the end of this run. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. Yeah, I don't know what happened there with the uh, picking up of the heart, but I feel like it was slightly unintended. I feel like that trinket that gives, gives you coins on buying hearts maybe, maybe is doing too many checks or something whenever you uh, pick up a heart from a shop. I don't know. I'll, I'll notify the developer. Do not worry. It will be sorted. Ooh, hell yes, we're taking this. Also... I would very much like one of these discs. Um, three to five boss items for 60 seconds. Yes, please. I like the idea of these discs. They're really cool. Okay. Boss time. Where you at? Where you at, boss man? I really want a new boss on one of these floors. Oh, I just took the pi I took the pillin because it was in the way of the bloody door. You stupid shyster. <coughs> Sorry, I just had to cough there. But God damn, that's so annoying. Okay, we got you dead. And we're taking the damage up, thank you. Excuse me, that didn't count. It's so frustrating. Okay, this guy with Lodestone really shouldn't be too bad. We're going to have him Lodestone for basically the whole fight. Not the whole fight, but basically the whole fight. And we got ourselves Soul Heart, and we're on our way. I don't even get to get my disc back. Also, I completely forgot to show off something really cool. Do you know what? I'm going to give myself a thing just to show it off. Um, spawn... 5.300.1 Just to show this off Because it's a really cool feature Wait Hmm I'm in the dead area now so it doesn't Really work But anyways Segmented mausoleum Look The two halves of the mausoleum are here They have been revived in a mod Just like it used to be an anti-birth I feel like I, I have to show this off. It's so cool. So now we get a whole other half to the mausoleum. I completely forgot about this. I really should have searched around. But yeah, you get like an extra room or something. So we've got like a tainted treasure room here, which I won't have anything in it. But I missed out on it, so I missed out on it. It's, it is what it is. Um, but I think that's really cool. Having this um, new version that we can uh, take a little look at. And in the future, explore. I really, I always, that was one of the biggest features from Anti-Birth that I always missed. I thought the, the segmented mausoleum was such a cool idea. Such a cool idea. And I was really just disappointed when it didn't come back. 
So it's really cool to see it revived as a mod. They're doing a great job of it. Right, can I actually get back into the boss room here? What happens when I go back in? Okay, fair enough. Right, down we go. Sad that I couldn't fully show that off, but I had to at least show it off in some capacity. Because it's really cool. I'm onto the corpse. They did say something in the patch notes sort of things about the corpse getting um, a bit of a rework. So I'm, I'm just guessing there's going to be a lot more rooms than enemies. <clears throat> Oh, hello. You are aggressive. Apologies for the pause there. Coughing once again. I am dying slowly. I mean, technically everyone's dying slowly. I'm just dying faster than most slowly people. <clears throat> that was a sentence that did not make any sense. But it has been set out my mouth now. It is done. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the, the corpse-dwelling enemies that we have here. Whoa, look at that guy. Look at both of these dudes. Whoa, we've got like, little, little feet coming out of his mouth. And then this is like a new room type as well by the looks of things. Oh, he hatched into a, like a little spider. Nice. Oh, look at these spike blocks. Look at these like massive spikes in front of me here. That's so cool. We got a black heart here. Is uh, black heart? Reverse of the tower. Why not? Okay, what are these guys? They're just spewing shots at me. I think they're going to split into an enemy. Okay, no, they kind of, like, deteriorate into something else and then split into an enemy. I love that animation of the uh, of the maggot falling out of their mouth. Got some of these guys as well that are lobbing teeth at us. More Fool's Gold Rocks. I really wasn't expecting as many custom Fool's Gold Rocks. I'm really liking that. They're really impressive. Beautiful. Kind of got jumped out there. What boss will be in, in store for us? Chimera? Chimera's not too bad, especially with Herming here. In fact, with Herming, I think she can, I think Chimera's going to get wrecked. Okay, reverse the tower can't trigger in boss rooms. I didn't know that. That's good. T for max HP. Thank you. And then Gimpy's probably a good idea at this point. It was health we otherwise wouldn't have had. And on to Mother. Let's see how this goes. Corpse 2, Curse of Creation. With Reverse of the Tower, that is a weird combo. I don't know what those little ghosts are doing, but they can they seem to kind of like appear and vanish in the in the same second. We've got this guy. I love these spikes here. They're so cool. Get everything gathered into one. Amalgamous ball. And these guys are like. Maggot spewers. Oh, and they this is where the skulls came from last time, I see. Oh, come on now. Don't be like this. There you go. You perished. Whoa, we got some uh, skinless fatties here. Oh, they're like globins, I think. Yeah, they are. They're like globins. That's really cool. Okay, I got hit way too many times here. Just kill him. I tried to see him reform. I love animations like that, so I wanted to pause and watch it. I, I got hit four times for the pleasure, but I still enjoyed myself. And we got one of you. Honestly, we can just use this book to annihilate you both. There you go. I love how it keeps placing all these, like, no, no pass blocks on the exits and stuff. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my goodness, what the hell were you? Where in the sh What in the shit? Where in the crap did you come from? You scared the living crap out of me. That was awesome. <laughs> what the hell? And we got an extra soul heart for the fight. <clears throat> Let's give Mother a beat down. Okay. With Herming, I reckon Mother's going to get relatively wrecked. Mercurius will help as well. No, Saturnus, sorry, not Mercurius. He's going to hover around on her and do some, do some good bits. It's kind of hard to tell what's mine and what's his, to be honest. 
with these white shots. Oh, look, these blocks are like helping me. <clears throat> I need to I need to move the ones that are behind our arm. It's slightly more favorable positions to block shots. Yeah. We're doing all right on these attacks. <clears throat> Honestly, it's going down pretty quick. Oof. <laughs> all of them are French and that was just oof. I wonder if I get like three in a row. I'm just about to say, I was I was just about to say, I wonder what happens if we get one in front of him while he's doing this attack. I wonder if it'll stop him. Hazard. All you gotta do is position one right and you get a free mother kill. That's pretty impressive. <clears throat> I was wondering. Get a few bombs in there as well, why not? And there you go, there's our free mother kill. <laughs> Perfect. We had two blocks next to each other. I was gonna say if there's two, I wonder if it stops her. And that's how you do it. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this wonderful little run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.